Hey guys, happy Friday. Um, it is 6.35 and I just got home from work. I'm just putting my hair up because I am baking tonight. Um, so I had a cake order for tomorrow, but she picked it up today. Um, so I'll put in a picture of that cake. And then tonight I am doing cupcakes for Ethan's cousin. Um, we're going to her, his aunt and uncle's house tomorrow for her birthday thing. Um, what else? I'm trying to think. What else is big? Uh, this week was, it was okay. I wasn't feeling very well for most of it because the weather changed and my got a really bad migraine on Monday that like I came home and slept like sometimes I get headaches that are so bad that sleeping is the only thing that will um help so I had that on Monday but I basically had a headache every day not all day every day but a lot of the time and sometimes like yeah like Advil or anything won't help it just just need sleep so um but I'm going to do those cupcakes um today was like an awesome day because I feel like I talked about this like probably even before Christmas but basically right before we went to Hawaii there was a certain camera lens that Ethan wanted and it was released like the week before we went and so he pre-ordered it but the pre-orders were shipping as the orders were placed so we didn't think that he was going to get it in time so he ordered a different one and then before we could cancel the pre-order one um, it had shipped after the other one had already shipped so this was like over the weekend and then the Monday so the pre-order was from amazon.ca and then the other one was from amazon.com so the amazon.com one was supposed to come on the Monday and we left the Wednesday um, so the amazon.com one came and it was the wrong lens and so then we had to return it and um, and then the .ca one didn't end up coming until after we had left because there was a postal strike um, so basically we were screwed over and Ethan didn't get any new camera lenses while we were away um, but the amazon.com one because we are in Canada, the return label that they sent us said that it required postage and like I wasn't paying for that and so basically we returned it via UPS when I guess they use like USPS and we didn't, like we had so much trouble trying to get a refund, like they didn't believe that we had returned it, said that it wasn't the correct item, which like it wasn't because they sent the wrong ones. Um, that we had to file a dispute with our credit card and that was on November. So filed the dispute probably a month ago. This is a charge from November 2nd. We got it back today and I like wanted to cry. I was so happy. Like it was a thousand dollars. So if you are Canadian, do not shop on amazon.com. Any, anything high value because if they send you the wrong thing, like even if it's their fault, they're going to screw you over. So um, that's all I'm going to say about that, but I am in a good mood because we got that money back. Um, so I'm very happy and now I'm going to make cupcakes. It is 9.53. Um, I just had breakfast and I've had coffee. Um, but sorry I didn't film very much last night. Um, just kind of get into baking and then lose track of time. Um, but 
I what I wanted to do this morning is I found this app. It's called um, Cladwell, I think. But it's like I uh, I mentioned like a few months ago that the idea of like a capsule wardrobe was kind of intriguing. Um, but basically, you like either choose pictures of pieces that look like stuff you have, or you can add pictures of your own clothing items and then you like log what you wear and it helps you to determine like what you wear and what you don't wear that you could get rid of um but it also like makes outfits for you and um tells you what pieces you could add to your wardrobe um so I kind of wanted to go through my clothes and like take pictures of stuff <laughs> Um, to try using that to see if that can work like not necessarily like in a capsule wardrobe but just like using the stuff that I already have um, and just kind of seeing kind of like an experiment so I think I'm gonna do that and then um, I was having trouble falling asleep last night so I started watching the Sex in the City movie so I think I'm going to put that on um, funny story I used to have like a projector DVD player. It was called like a zoom box or something in my old room at the foot of my bed and after watching Paranormal Activity I was not comfortable falling asleep in the dark um, so I would play movies and like project it onto my ceiling and Sex and the City movie is one of the movies that I watch like because it would just like loop like all night. Um, I watched that. I watched Ice Princess a lot Trying to think of other ones. There are other ones too. I can't remember. Those are the only ones I can remember right now. But I am so I have this um, piece of foam core board that I'm gonna use as a backdrop. I'm gonna open the windows and let's see how this goes. I'm gonna put the camera over there so that it's not over there looking at the TV. <laughs> Because Sex and the City movies rated R. Okay. <laughs> and I'm sorry I did not plot much today um, but we just got home I'm just gonna get ready for bed I think I'm gonna read a little bit um, it was good I just didn't even bring my camera because it's all family um, and we had Panera Bread for lunch which was good uh, we met up with Ethan's parents before we headed over to his aunt and uncle's um, but we are going out for breakfast tomorrow so I'll probably bring the camera and show you guys what I get and then tomorrow just hanging around the house um, I need to edit two videos and that's about it I'd like to have a bath but yeah I'm cold so I'm gonna get ready for bed so I can get into my pajamas and get into my warm bed but I will see you guys in the morning hey guys it is like 9 and we are just sitting in the parking lot Outside of Cora's before breakfast. Oh, oh no. Baby. No. Just no. He's here, I promise. Smile. I am. Move your hands. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> what are you doing? Look at the static. Come here. Come here. Oh, what's he doing to you? What's he Oh. You good girl? Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Oh, thank you. Oh, this is a good girl. It's shocking. She's like, Mom, do you have something? Do you have something for me? Is this what you're looking for? I'm so cute. Oh, <laughs> oh God. Yeah, yeah I can't. I can't quite jump up, but. That was your younger days. What? <laughs> Give it to her. What? Do you love me? Do you... Yeah? A lot? Yeah? So much? Gentle. We've been on an adventure with Alex. He's who's sleeping. Who's back there? I don't even know if you can see her! Um, oh. <laughs> and now we're getting a car wash. It's coming. Can you hear Alex back there? Say hi, Alex. about nine o'clock now um, so I'm gonna finish the weekend vlog for this weekend I'm sorry that I did not pick up the camera a lot I didn't really think we would be like busy but I completely forgot at points so I do apologize for that uh, but next weekend's a long weekend so there should be more content <laughs> um, but this week's content Monday a Hawaii vlog goes up where we go to Diamond Head, hike that, and then I share probably one of my favorite parts of the trip. Um, and then on Wednesday, I am sharing my monthly favorites, so some of my favorite things from the month of January. Um, there's like entertainment, beauty, clothing, books, miscellaneous, and a priceless moment. Um, so check that out as well. And then tomorrow... Our wedding video is going up on the blog because it's on Vimeo, not YouTube. So you'll have to check out the blog if you want to see that at DisneyObsession.com slash blog. But I hope you guys enjoyed this weekend vlog. I hope you have a great week and I will see you in my next video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. And I'll see you in my next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye.